Hey everybody, how are you? For all of you that tuned in on YouTube to get to us, thank you. And those of you on the outdoorsmansvoice.com, thank you as well. My name is Bob Misak, and what we're going to do is we're going to get out on the jetty today at Barnegat Light. Behind me is the Barnegat Lighthouse. This is a state park. It's free fishing for everybody, and we're going to go out there and we're going to catch some tautog ta today, also known as blackfish, or as I like to affectionately call them, tog. And we're going to get out there, we're going to whack those tog, we're going to yank them up out of the rocks, it's going to be hardcore fishing, and we're going to be in tune with the tog, and we're going to master it for you today here at the Outdoorsman's Voice. Okay, this is my favorite bait. This is the Asian shore crab. They're found here at the rocks. I, th I can get them myself by flipping over some rocks on low tide. They're wily little critters. They're pretty fast, hard to catch. And the bigger ones do bite. We're gonna hook them through the little pad on the bottom. And we're gonna come out the leg, near the leg. We wanna try to hide that hook from the tog. A lot of times they feel the point, they'll let it go, but little crabs like this, in order to stay down there a little a little longer, I'll, I'll put two on. And I'll double up and you want that barb just through there like that. When the tog hits, you want to be able to whack them and hook them right in the lift. So, that's a beautiful looking bait. That'll catch a trigger, a sheep's head out here, or, this tog I've been trying to catch for the last hour. So let's let's try and get him. Come on, little toggy. Come to Papa. I do believe we've hooked him. He ain't small. Yeah. Come on, dog. Whoa! Hog fishing at the Jersey Shore. Nothing like it. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa, baby. Yoo-hoo! Half a dozen crabs later. There's the white chin we're looking for. That puppy's going home. See now, in order for not to lose your fish, rocks are very slippery. You want to try to get one, at least one hand inside the gill if you're keeping the fish. If not, be careful not to bust the gill plate. This one's going home for the frying pan. That's the keeper tog. With a 15 inch limit on these fish, this one does not have to be measured, obviously. So we'll put them in there. And I like to keep my cooler ready with ice at the bottom. Throw the tog in. Okay, when our tog goes all the way across the cooler like this, that's the one we want. This is the outdoorsman's voice out here in Barnegat Light on the jetty. We're doing it up. We're going to do it again. We're going to catch another big one. All right, Pete, let's do it. Put the crab back. Let's get a bigger one. 